Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I have an exciting video for you today, especially if you love to do crafts at home or if you work from home. Now, if you look here, you're going to see this brand new Odin Lake Standing Desk. This is model S450. Now this video is sponsored by Odin Lake. They provided this table for me to set up, use, see how I feel about it, and give you my opinion. Now I am familiar with these electronic standing desks or sitting desks. I have one at home. My daughter has one that she uses when she works from home. And I'm gonna have her spin the camera around and show you her workstation because she does a lot of work from home. So she likes to stand up when she does work. I like to sit down. I cannot do work standing up. So what I wanted to talk about a little bit today was anyone who needs a desktop, no matter what you're doing. I personally like this desk because I like to sew. And when my counters are a specific height, my sewing machine is too high. Now I don't have a sewing machine stand, so I set it on a table and I like my sewing machine to be lower when I'm sewing. I like to look down and sew. So what's great about this desk is I can push the up button and I can raise my table. Now this is definitely too high, but I can work standing up, which I don't do when I sew, or I can lower it. I like to look down and I like my sewing machine to be down at a lower level. So this is wonderful for if you sew and you have a specific height that you like for sewing. The other thing I like is if you look at this tabletop, they have four different colors available. So maybe you're a YouTuber and you film a lot and you want a, a desk that maybe you can lower or higher or to do filming on that has a beautiful finish. This is excellent for anyone who does filming for YouTube or any type of filming where you just want a really nice top surface for your filming. The other thing I like is this is perfect for a child because you can lower it to the lowest level and you can teach them how to do crafts. And it's wonderful that we keep crafting tradition alive by teaching our children. So whether you're crocheting, whether you're sewing, or whether you're working from home like my daughter and have a workstation, these desks are wonderful. Now they are a little bit more money than a regular desk that does nothing, but you're paying for the convenience of being able to raise, lower, it has the convenience of being able to put your cords down through. Now, Odin Lake did give me a special discount code just for my Creative Grandma viewers. You can save 30% off your purchase of this particular desk. This is the model S450 and you can get 30% off and they have three different sizes. And I'll give you all that information at the end of the video. Just use the code DESK, capital letters, D-E-S-K, 30 at checkout and you can save 30% off your very own desk. And what an amazing discount for my viewers. So now I'm going to show you how the desk comes if you decide to order one, how easy it is to put together, and then you can decide whether this is something you would enjoy. So we're gonna start by showing you what your order would look like if you decide to order one of these desks. It's going to come in two boxes. Your desktop is going to come in this tall box and then the legs and the components will come in the small box. So Lari, you wanna go ahead, open the boxes and let's show them how easy it is to put this together. <laughs> So we open the first box. This is the smaller box. This is the box you wanna open first that has your legs, your brackets, and all your components. It is wrapped in heavy styrofoam to keep everything nice. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your two legs and then you're gonna place the crossbar on top of the leg so you can see the position. It almost looks like somebody's foot with their leg coming up. And then you put that bar across the top. There's going to be four holes in the top. You're going to line that bar up with the holes and the bottom uh, bracket or stand, and then you're going to tighten up your bolts. 
So now since she has the leg and the bottom piece on, what are you doing now? We're taking the first piece with these on top and placing it over the motor. And then you have to line up the holes and use four bolts to attach it to the top of the legs. And her husband, Corey, is here helping. And we'll do this for both sides. Now we are going to use section C and slide it into the end of D. Line up the bolt holes and you have to use the long ones that are labeled in the bag with a K. And there's four of them. We're going to put these in from the top on both sides. For the next step, we have the two bars that are marked as D. We have our legs on the floor upside down put together. So we're just going to slide these in the bottom of the sections that were marked with a C. So the open cutouts are on the inside on both of them. So now we're getting the tabletop out of the box. This is what it looks like. Again, it's wrapped in foam and we're going to attach it to the legs. So now we have the tabletop laying on the floor and what we've done was we put the foam from the box on the floor so you didn't scratch the top when we put it together. Now, when you get the top out, you want it upside down. You're going to see the holes there for the wires and then you're going to see the holes where you're going to screw the base onto the top. And then you gotta make sure the holes right here for the control box. I can't see them through my phone. There's holes on both sides, so you can decide which side you want your control panel on. And they should be in the front. All right, so now they're going to take the base and put it on top of the bottom of the top. They're gonna line it up with the holes and then they're gonna bolt that down. So now they're putting the G bolts in the frame to keep the frame together so it doesn't slide. So you can see Corey putting the bolts in now. Now we're gonna use the F bolts and screw the crossbars into the tabletop to sturdy the base. And there's no holes, so you have to make your own holes. You just line it up with the tabletop and screw it in place. Good. All right, the next step we are going to control we are going to attach the control panel to the front of the desk. We're choosing the right side of the desk because that's where our electrical outlet's gonna be on the wall. And then we're going to use the H screws in the little baggie to attach that to the bottom of the tabletop. And while he's attaching that, I grabbed our power cords. And since this is a dual motor, we're just gonna attach one to both sides. They only fit one way. And then once these are connected, we're going to take both ends and these are going to plug into the control panel that he's attaching to the desktop. Now that the control panel is attached to the bottom of the tabletop, we are going to use the connector cables from the motors and plug into the power or the control panel upside down. And then once those are plugged in, we're going to attach the power adapter. So we decided before we flip the table over, we're going to use some zip strips that we had in the, in the junk drawer and attach our wires so they're not dangling all over the place. So now since they zip strip their wires, which makes a nicer look to the desk, they're gonna go ahead and flip the desk over. And that is how easy it is to put your desk together. Our desk is flipped over, plugged in and ready to use. So our control panel on the front, we're gonna test it out and see what this does. So there's a down arrow and it just lowers the desk to the desired height. Now, if you listen carefully, I'm gonna have her do it up and then down. You can hear how quiet the motor is. What are some of the other features? 
Well, once you get it to the desired height, which is what we're doing now, where it would be a comfortable height to work, on the control panel there's an S, so you just hold the S until the screen flashes, and then you push the number one, and that will be your automatic set for the height that you want. You can do the same thing for lowering it. You can lower it to the position that you want to use while in a sitting position. Once it gets there, again, you can just press and hold the S, and then when it flashes, you're gonna push a different number that's not preset. And then when they're set, you should be able to just push the numbers and it will go to the standing height that you saved. This is the Odin Lake Standing Desk S450. The one that we have here is the one that is 30 by 60 inches. They have four different color tabletops that you can choose from. We went with the oak finish. The legs for the frame, you can pick either black or white. So we went with the white for the clean, fresh look. This desk, you can pack it full with lots of stuff because it will hold up to 275 pounds without any issues with the motors. We are so excited to have our new desk put together, set up, and we're gonna make this our little craft corner. So I'm gonna let my mom take over now and she's gonna tell you a little bit more about the company and how you can get a great deal at 30% off. So now I'm on the Odin Lakes website and I wanna show you some of the still shots of all the options you have for the colors of the desktop and the frame that would match perfectly with your home decor. So we're gonna start at the top. Here's one photo and I'm just going to click down through the photos so you can see all the different colors. There's dark and then there's that beautiful wood top with the black base. Here it is again. Here's another photo. Here's the white desk with the white base. Here's that oak. Here is the maple with the white bottom. So beautiful if you want a fresh, clean look. Now here is the maple with the black frame. And just some of the pictures, you can go down through the pictures and see what combinations you would like to put together. Now over on the right hand side of the page, let me move my camera a little bit. You're going to see that they have a 30 day return policy, a 15 year warranty on the Odin Standing Desk S450. Now let me go over the pricing. Now the 47 by 24 is $568, but if you use that discount code DES30, you're going to save 30% off. This is a wonderful discount code and you can save yourself a lot of money. The 55 by 27 is $668 and again use that 30% discount code. And then the large desk, the one that we showed you in a different color than what you're seeing here, is $768. So if you use that 30% code, you're saving over $200 on this desk. Now because this is more of a high-end piece of office equipment, they do offer a monthly payment plan where you can make payments to make this more affordable. And you can have so much fun with your new Odin Lake standing desk. Now remember, make sure that you're using that code DES30 to save 30% off your desk. It tells you there's free shipping and returns on all orders. It's a 30 day price guarantee. 30 day free returns and super fast shipping. You can also scroll down and you're going to see overview, details, specs, instructions, and reviews. So let's hit the reviews and this is where you can read everybody's opinion of this desk. You can just see what everybody thinks. So far I'm seeing all five star ratings. So you can get on here and read other people's opinion and not just mine. And this just gives you a better understanding of how people felt after they got their purchase. So I would take the time and I would read these reviews. I hope you found this video informative and if you have been wondering about the standing desk, it never hurts to take a look. I hope you take the time to visit Odin Lake's website and see everything they have to offer. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crafting everyone. Bye.